what's up everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a long time but the long break is over and uh welcome back to my youtube so if you're new here uh, make sure you subscribe and welcome to the family and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm sorry for going missing for some time <laughs> i'm back and welcome back let's get this um channel growing and growing and growing we are road to a thousand subscribers oh i'm so grateful man if you have subscribed here i'm super grateful so thank you so so much thank you so so much and share this channel to your friends to your family to everybody let them subscribe and uh let's keep keep going on today's video we're going to simply talk about um what you should carry as a student when you're considering moving to poland for the first time it doesn't have to be poland alone could be any any abroad most especially um european countries so because the seasons are equally the same everything is just the same so you have to really know what to carry so i'll be so specific and on today's video i'll mention on the specific things you need to have when you're moving to poland so yeah let's go i'm shooting and uh you see this building that's a car wash i'm like that's a modern <laughs> car wash considering we do car wash on the river in my country in my village so that's something new you know something very very new yeah so i'm trying to get a different location uh somewhere that it's not that loud and somewhere that is so beautiful to proceed and drop the points for you uh because why am I doing this video? We end up overparking. Is it overparking or yeah, overparking, not underparking, overparking. And simply we overpack and the things we overpack we they're not so necessary to use. So yeah, let me get there. So I think this is uh, almost uh, one of the quiet uh, areas because I've been walking all the way from there. It's it's close to the road, so um there's quite a lot of noise from the cars trams and all the buses so but i think this is the one of the favorite spots it's so so sunny trust me you i feel like the heat is too much for me and i'm walking um quite the opposite alongside the river it's not it's not like a river river it's just a stream i guess if i'm not wrong <laughs> Okay, one thing before I proceed, you see how Polish are so tidy? Yeah, they have this uh, sacks to just, you know, for litter collection because at this area there's no like the litter stuff. So they have added sacks in order for you not to be uh, careless with the dirt and keep this place clean. You see, it's super, super clean and I love, love, love this. Uh, I mean, the first thing that you need to consider start with the documents that you need the school needs you to have them could be the acceptance letter could be the you know all the documents you know including your visa i mean your passport which has a visa in it so um sometimes it's wise to carry your original id for your country your birth certificate your primary your high school your just the necessary documents yeah why am I insisting on this? Because um, personally, when I moved here, there was no system that... I mean, we never knew that um, the government will need a new passport. So it was really uh, something that we had to change. We have to have the new uh, passport. So, And with the passport comes uh, along with so many documents like your birth certificate, your ID so you know it was easy if we had them rather than when you don't have and this is something something so necessary for you 
you end up sending you know asking people to send you your documents from home so that you can um fulfill the requirements so just to be safe carry all your documents walk with them you know when you receive them it's like they married you so you really have to consider carrying all the necessary documents that you feel might be useful for you in future so please avail yourself with the your documents carry all of them and uh yeah just to be on the safe side so this was the first one and it was documents <laughs> on a second thing that you need con to consider when you parking for your abroad trip as a student is um let's move to clothes you know the type of attires that you need to carry if you want to join um poland so uh just to begin this is where people make a lot of mistakes so i'm going to tackle in terms of shoes and in terms of clothes so uh in terms of clothes uh just see because sometimes you can join during our uh, september intake and also on march intake depending on different um months that you're going to join so please make sure if it's during winter don't end up over shopping at your local or no local yeah local um how do you call it market yeah a local market or your 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 typical market so because um when personally i was coming we ended up shopping a lot at my country and once we came here can you imagine like we only used like one percent of the items that we carried this is clothes and shoes so just from my my own perspective just don't end up over shopping just shop for one coat that you're going to be in when you're coming in because it's gonna be cold if that's september intake and ca carry a lot of money so that you come and shop from this country that you want to move in because here they have like specific clothes that you know they're used to the that that are made depending on the weather so you know just to be on the safe side carry a lot of money so that you can just come and shop in the country where there is this uh kind of uh, good attires that will fit your the weather conditions i would say and uh, it will be cheaper for you compared to you spending a lot of money buying items from your local uh, market and then coming here ending up not using them and at the end of the day you also end up spending more money to get more items for yourself so please cut it don't end up overspending on clothes and shoes because also shoes um basically we buy boots here and uh that's for the winter and they are so so warm and they are not similar to the ones that are in my country you know they're so different so please end up carrying the money enough money to buy the new clothes here and also the shoes that you need to wear when you are here this is a nice tip and it will help you a lot by many different ways could be in terms of money in terms of luggage in terms of over parking and all that so be considerate with yourself if you want to save money just carry the money come here and shop for all of your items so the only clothes i will recommend you to carry from your home are the summer type of clothes because i know if personally as a kenyan there's a lot of summer clothes a lot of summer shoes and uh, they're so so beautiful they're so uh, affordable than here because here you end up buying a piece of clothes so so expensive and you end up having not so many clothes to wear so basically just carry the summer clothes summer shoes that'll be so much convenient for you when summer approaches but for winter clothes spring and autumn no just carry the money come here and buy yourself this type of clothes and uh, one more tip if you're an african you can consider um you can consider buying like uh the african attires i don't know something like shoes you know like this you know you, um, you can only embrace your culture when you're outside the culture so please carry a lot of african attires 
I have to be careful walking here because it's it's so rocky-ish and it's sloppy downhill. Yeah. The third thing <laughs> you need to consider is your hair products. If you have hair and maybe if you're African or you have different type of hair. So make sure the country that you're going to, there's a lot of leaves. So check on the country that you're going if they have most a high population has the similar type of hair that you have if not just carry all the products that you need for your hair because i came to learn that um the okay of course my type of hair is different from the polish people so uh it's really hard to find the good products to use for my hair growth and the ones they have you know they are made perfectly for their skin tone not skin tone perfectly for their type hair exactly their skin so you know sometimes they are so so different and uh, you have to be more careful about it so please check on the products could be hair products skin products um oil product every type of products you know check on check on them get to learn what um if they are available in the country if not carry enough and maybe you can do online shopping, which sometimes is not guaranteed that you're going to find um, these products close or next to your doorstep. So please be careful on that. Put this on your list and it's going to help you a lot and a lot. And uh, I just remembered, if you also are an African, let's be precise. Remember to carry your hair um, extensions the wigs the all that you know it's hard to really find extensions in this country considering they don't do braiding you know so please uh these are the things you need to carry a lot and a lot of them carry your own uh straightener that could be the it's a hair straightener but some people call it a blow dryer because the watts that are uh, with the polish um hair straighteners they're so low <laughs> they can't even help you this you know they don't they can't please carry your own from your country because you know they are made differently the, the words are more high because of the hair texture we have so uh just carry to be on the safe side it's gonna be hard for you maintaining your hair if you're an african or if you have fussy type fobby whatever a b c i don't know this range but it's gonna be hard for you so these are the things you need to carry for yourself and the last uh thing that you need to consider about um what to pack on your luggage bags when you're moving to when you're moving abroad as a student um please uh let's talk about food because i feel this is the most crucial part uh because most uh, food that are here they are so different from the one we consume especially if you are an african so the good thing is to um check the type of food that they allow you to carry at the airport because some of the foods are restricted so you might have to check the ones that are access acceptable for you to carry so basically personally i usually uh dry um the green food the the, the green vegetables right right yeah so i will always go home get the veggies dry uh boil dry them so i carry them abroad so that you know i can just come and cook them whenever i miss them and also um i can carry uh flour the millet flour I don't know like here in poland it's they have millet but it's a different uh, type of millet so normally i would carry the millet flour to come and uh cook po porridge for myself especially when it's kind of cold you know the cold season or the when there's a flu you know all that or when i feel like oh my god i need to drink porridge so and also there's some some 
I'm specific in terms of food. So when I came here, there are some things I couldn't eat at all, or I could eat, but you know, the, I was used to my African type of food and uh, something like making noise for me. Yeah, something like the jam. I'm going to display these items there. So I usually brought the jam, I brought the spices, different types of spices. And also, what else do you bring as food? The sausage, you know, the Kenyan sausages, they're so sweet. So I always carry them sausages. And uh, what else in terms of food? Okay, I'll just display because now I can't remember all the foods that I always carry. So I'll just uh, display what I bought from home and what uh, is allowed at the airport for me to carry. So what I know is they allow you to carry um, dry foods. So that's a tick for you. But there are specific types of fruit food that they don't allow you to carry into the country because of something with agriculture, pests and all that. So food is so essential. So maximum weight, make sure it's essential things that you require that's going to help you kickstart the new lifestyle that you are about to start on this strange new country. I think that's all for today. I don't have much more left to add. These are the most essential things to carry. Remember, you are not moving everything from your home. So it's just the little one too that you need to know for you to carry that will be so essential for you. I thank you for um, taking your time to listen to me. And I've been walking, I've been doing blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's summer, so we have to do a lot of outdoor videos. Until next time, bye. Remember to subscribe like comment share and uh tune in for next wednesday where i'll be i'll be releasing another student edition vlog bye until next time adios peace